Stay here, I'm in another vlog and today I am going to be showing you how I do a handstand and hold it longer. Um, basically, um, I will be teaching you step by step, but if you can't do some of it, just please comment down below um, and I will help you with it. If my comments are off in any of my videos, you can go to the pause section in my channel and you can message anything up there. But if I don't respond, don't worry, I will come respond later. Okay, so I want to first teach you the first step. The first step is to obviously um, get the idea how to do a handstand. So we're going to go practice that. Some tips to do a handstand is basically try doing froggy jump. Um, what I like to call is froggy jump. So basically you're going to go down. Okay, then to try jumping up until you get into a handstand. I'm not a very pro at handstand, but it might help you. So let's try that one more time. As you can see here, I did a froggy jump. Practice that a few times and you will be nailed up to do a handstand. But then we're going to do this handstand. The normal handstand way. So we're going to go practice that right now. So what you're going to do for this um, is basically... One leg has to go up when the other kicks by and comes up again. But then what I'm trying to say is, if this leg goes down, this leg should come up and hop until you get into position. Let's practice hopping up like this. Another tip is, if you're a beginner, use a ball like I'm doing right now. Because I'm a beginner. <laughs> okay, so we're going to try holding it up for some time after if you after you learn how to do it but if you still didn't get it please follow along with the tutorial so we're gonna try hopping more and once this the leg which the one leg which is up here this leg should be the other leg should be halfway to get up there so let's try that hop and hop okay once you got it up what you're gonna do is See your fingers? Basically, on the ground, you're going to press your fingers like this. Let's get a closer look here. So, see this is my ground, okay? I'll, I'm now I'm going to show you what I mean. See my fingers? It's pressing down, right? Okay. So, if you're falling forwards this way, um, you got to put your strength on your palm. And put your power on your palm so you don't fall that way. If you're falling backwards, which is this way, um, the way you try to get into a handstand, um, it could, it, it might, you gotta put your power on your fingers. So I'm gonna show you that right now. The differences between just holding it straight, putting it crunched up like this, like dinosaur crawls, um, and the one when you put powers on each. Areas. So this one is what I'm going to show you right now is going to be power on. Okay, let's check that. Okay, so um, so let's see. I'm going to get into a handstand and show you the differences. See, I fell because I didn't put the power on. But now I'm going to put the power on and see how long you can hold it. Oops, bang. So that we all know that was a lot more time than the first one. So basically you gotta put some power on the way in which way you're falling. So okay, the second thing is crunch up thing. So um let's see that. Um so if you're in going to thing that thing, I can hold it like whoa! Oh, I can't hold that very much. But if I'm going like this, look what happens. But for some people, if you do this contract thing, um, it might be harder for them. So for me, it's way easier, but if it's hard for you, you can do it the way you think it's best. Okay. Okay, so this is me in my contract thing. And this is me in my normal palm. We all know that was all to encourage up things, but if you're different, um, that's not my problem. So, um, so do the way you think is best for you. 
Okay, the other thing we're going to be working on today is for holding it longer. Um, the tips that I told you right now not to fall backwards or forwards can also work for um, holding it longer. And you have to point your toes, like I'm doing right now, to, to the ceiling, to the ceiling or the sky, okay? So after you point up, you have, your legs should be straight. It shouldn't be like this. Okay? Because then it's not really a handstand, you call. Okay? Because that will give you a grip. Um, but if you're not using the wall, you will literally fall forward even if you put the power on things. So that won't work. So what we're going to do, straight legs, pointer will work. Let's check that right now. Isn't that long um but it might take you might hold it for a long time but see um mine legs are straight but um i um i forgot to do the power on with my fingers so let's check it with that well guys that was actually longer than i thought it would be well comment down below what you think it is or comment in the polls okay so, let's move on to the next thing you can work on. Okay, well, it's not a thing that you can work on. It's just a finishing touch to make it all work. Remember the tips I told you. We're going to add all those things together and make it as a correct handstand. Let's show that. Tip one. Crunch up. Tip two. Moving up, power on, doing your power on. Tip three, pointing your toes and legs straight. Tip four, look down to your hands. Um, tip five, do not do crazy stuff of all like that. And see that guys, it whole held for a very long time. Let's try that all together without doing any mistakes. very long comment down below or comment in the polls how long it took you and make sure to record the time as well 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 sadly this is where i end the video i will see you guys in my next vlog make sure you subscribe hit the like button and hit the notification bell <laughs> goodbye guys